Hola amigos, Dr. Labrinicki. Today, I'm going to help you be successful on the persuasive essay portion of the AP Spanish Language and Cultural Exam. All right, vamos a empezar. All right, so first up, we need to know um, what are the tasks, what are they going to be asking us to do, um, what's it going to look like. So the first part is there's going to be two sources that they're going to start with. Eventually, there's going to be three. I'll get to that in just a moment. But anyways, the first two sources, one is going to be an article for us to read, and the other is going to be some type of graph or table with information for us to interpret. So they're going to give, they're going to give us six minutes to look at those first two sources. The third source is going to be a listening portion and we're going to be able to listen to that two times and we need to take notes while we listen because eventually we're going to have to refer back to source number three with the notes that we've taken okay once we've seen the three sources we're going to have 40 minutes to write our persuasive essay so that can be a daunting task if we've never practiced before but you're watching this video hopefully you're practicing and by the time that you've done it a few times um, it gets easier and it is possible to do it in 40 minutes after you've practiced. Okay, so what are we doing in our persuasive essay? Well, we're trying to persuade somebody of our viewpoint. So um, we need to state our viewpoint, um, but we also need to present both sides of the argument. And then we need to refer to the three sources. And then also we need to put our thoughts into paragraphs. So we're going to take a look at um, how do we come up with an outline? How do we do this? Okay, so what we need to do before we get started is we need to come up with an outline. So we need an introduction, a paragraph, the body paragraph, and a conclusion, but we need to put that into outline format first before we even start writing our paragraph. So in our introduction, we want to tell the reader what we're going to talk about in our essay. And then in the body paragraphs, we need to support our viewpoint, and we need to cite the three sources. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And then in our conclusion, we need to tell the reader what they just read about. We need to conclude it and wrap it up. So um, before we start writing, we need to come up with an introduction, a body paragraphs, and conclusion outline. And then from there, we're going to put it into a paragraph format. And so how do we cite our sources? Um, so a source can be a fuente, which translates as a fountain or a source. And there's no set style. Sometimes students ask, um, do I need to do it uh, in Chicago style or APA or MLA? Um, there's no set format. They haven't stated anything like that. They just said you need to cite the three sources. So you could just simply say Fuente numero uno dice and then give a specific example with quotation marks supporting your viewpoint. Uh, and then we can also say Según Fuente numero dos es necesario. So according to source number two, and then find a specific example from for source number two that supports your argument. And then we can also say, de acuerdo de la tercera fuente, IK. So um, according to the third source, and then again, we find a specific example that supports our viewpoint. And now these sources can work either for or against any argument. That's how they're set up. Um, they can provide evidence to support or against whatever cultural theme that they're talking about. And in the practice example that we do, it's about the quince añera, the birthday party for 15 year old girls. And from the three sources that we practice with, you can say either it's a good thing or a bad thing, and then look through the documents to support your point of view. All right, so that gives you an idea on how to write the persuasive X essay. Next up is the conversation in lesson five. All right, gracias por mirar. This has been a presentation of Learning Spanish with Dr. L. Remember, if you click the subs subscribe button, it gives you free access to all of my videos. Y buena suerte en el examen de AP. Chao.